Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just keep on pushing out that positivity. I know it's times is hard at this moment. You know, where we're constantly going through stuff, we're shifting left and right. Our emotions are like light switches and making you feel all Willy Wonka. But just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love the chance for you to drop a line or two. I want you to get to know me as much as I'm trying to get to know you. And even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, are you? just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family friend or just a fellow empath um that truly needs to hear it right now please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up and like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you're giving me as well as the channel is so greatly appreciated you make me feel so blessed and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today and the meditation music that i'm listening to today is called access to your higher realm inner guidance clarity meeting um meet your higher self binarial beats i haven't heard binarial beats in a minute and i love listening to that meditation and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey oka when darkness tries to creep up on you and jack up your day yes jack your day up i know oh lord it got my head itching on that one <laughs> i'm serious i'm in this morning i woke up all in a funky mood even though i was so grateful for just waking up in the morning first thing i do when i get out of bed i just you know i give my dad a kiss on his magazine and just say good morning daddy and just thank god for just waking me up this morning you know being happy to be able to breathe because there's a lot of people that had plans for the day and did not wake up you know there's so many people going through different things i try to be you know grateful for everything that i'm going through whether it's good or bad i try to find good in every day you know even towards the end of the day you know if i finally get through it and just made it on a good note, even though I might end up with a headache or whatever. I'm still grateful. But yeah, it's just darkness has really been trying to creep up on me. Like I told y'all, it's just like, I don't know. It, it was like something about like me and my dad when we were the last time I saw my dad. Well, I can remember I was only three days old. I shouldn't be able to remember stuff like that. But, you know, it, it was a really traumatic situation. But it had me really thinking about that. And, you know, making me feel not bad just for myself, but bad for my father, you know, at the same time. And it was, like, really, really traumatizing to have to, you know, relive that whole situation again. Because I remember my mom used to always tell me, you used to cry every day. We didn't know what to do. We, You know, we tried feeding you. We tried changing you. You would just cry. And it was just like, you know, I know our, our you know, we're already spiritually in union. But it's like his essence is getting closer to me to where it has me going back like you know from the beginning and i'm just like no i don't want to think about stuff like that i want to be able to let it go and heal from because that is so painful you know my dad always used to say in interviews you know he didn't like reminiscing on the past because it's too painful nobody wants to remember things like that they want to be able to go through life and you know experience whatever they need to experience but not reliving painful situations and i know that'd be painful for him you know um find out all these things that I found out about my dad really hurt my heart just to know he went through things like that but you know it, it's just like when I I just sit up here and said you know what I'm letting this go I can't deal with this anymore I'm not gonna keep you know I'm not gonna push it aside I'm just gonna face it and just allow it to go so it's just like you know through the midst of all that I conversated with my dad and told him how I felt about it you know and it it made me feel really good after I was able to let him know how I felt you know um, being able to open up and leave that out there and the open for the universe to be be able to connect with my dad in those kind of ways is truly a blessing to me because it's like even though we did not have that fear, uh, physical connection again it's just a blessing that I can be able to talk to him metaphysically all the time 
anytime I want to, anytime, you know, I feel lonely or, you know, sad and just miss him, I can always just like think about him and he's there. So it, it's just like when we're, darkness is going to creep up on us, especially when we're heading towards something very beautiful, very promising for ourselves. You know, darkness does not want that for us. Devil tries to stay busy. I'm not about to give that fool a job. I'm like, I'm not going to do that, you know, because I hear every time, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, girl, the devil busy. And it's just like and some people are like, oh, girl, stop giving him stuff to do. You know, I said, no, nah, I'm not going to sit up here and be reminiscing on sad things. If I want to think about anything that concerns my father, I want to think about the good times. You know, me and my dad cracking up, laughing, doing stupid stuff over the phone, you know, not even really knowing who he was at the time. But it was just funny because we always used to crack each other up laughing. So I, I said, I want to reminisce on the, the beautiful things that we've done, the beautiful connections we've had, even with the dreams I've had where I connected with my dad. You know, it's funny how, you know, um, there's times when I used to dream about doing my dad's hair and my dad, like in my dream, it was like, it was crazy because it was like back in the early 80s before, you know, Purple Rain and stuff came out. And his hair was just exactly like it was, but this is around the time he had like the Dominican blowout, you know, when he was like 19 and stuff like that around that time. But when I seen him, it was like the era in, you know, the mid 80s. So I will always just put these plaits in his hair. He's like, baby, why you got me looking like a girl? I'm like, well, daddy, you're just so pretty. You know, he's like, well, thank you, baby. But, <laughs> you know, why you keep doing my hair like that? But then he ended up liking it, and it's crazy because he started wearing that hairstyle. You know, and I was just like, wow, that's crazy. You know, I used to dream about it. You know, not putting two and two together. But, you know, remember putting little plaits and putting little ribbons in, in with the plaits or putting, you know, ribbons on the bottom of the plaits or whatever. And then I... You know, in the late 90s, he ended up doing his hair like that. I'm like, wow. You know, he ended up doing that with his hair. I used to put one on the side of his hair. He ended up wearing it like around the Love Sexy Tour. So it was just like certain things that, you know, I guess he was trying to, you know, have me, you know, know, hey, you, you know, you're my daughter and stuff like that. But, you know, it is what it is. But I can at least reminisce on those things and be grateful that I have, you know, all these pictures and stuff like that to just sit and reminisce about or whatever. But, you know, basically, if there's darkness keeps creeping up on you and trying to ruin your day, think about things that's going to make you happy because darkness wants you to reminisce about little boo-hoo things, making a pity party for yourself. And if you're going through stuff right now, try to think about things that you know you're trying to go towards that you want in your life to make you happy because you have to remember the thoughts in your mind sends off vibrations out to the universe so you have to really think about that and I had to tell myself that all the time is like okay convert this this sad situation and make it a positive memory don't think about the sad parts of it just think about the good things so it's just like when you're, you're going through things you have to know that your mind is a powerful tool it sends out so many crazy vibrations that you truly need to be careful with because it's just the fact is if you know you want wonderful things in your life and you have negative memories or negative thoughts in your head, try to convert it to something that's positive that's going to do a big impact on your life in a positive way. Because, you know, when, we, when we're in a bad mood and we're just fussing and this and this and that, because I have a bad habit of when I'm mad, I get all the way mad and just start da 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 And next thing you know, bad things start happening to me. I'm like, see, this is what I'm talking about. But I did that to myself you know I brought this bad vibration towards me so it's just like when you have something bad like that try to convert things over to a positive place put yourself in a positive place if you have to think about something goofy you having somebody just you know dancing in front of you just you know think about something really stupid just to you know have something that is going to put a smile on your face you know I, sometimes I go to Facebook because I know my friends be putting a lot of stupid stuff on there I'm like this is what I'm talking about I needed something funny to make me laugh like this but you know, darkness will try to find its way to keep you busy into that negative thought process. And you really don't need to do that. We have too many things in our lives that's going on that's crazy. But you can be very grateful for certain things that are coming towards your way. You just have to look out for the signs of them coming, you know. Because it's just like you can get into that thing and you know there's certain certain things that you want in life but they're taking a little bit of time to get there but if you know you're manifesting these things and you're wanting these things to deeply happen for you to strongly happen for you you have to keep going for them you have to keep even when you're going for them and the days might be long and frustrating just keep going at it as well you know if you need to take a break then take a break but then don't 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 sit around too long you need to be able to put that in your life and process it to be able to 
manifest those things into your life. So don't allow darkness to get a hold of you. Like I have to tell myself, don't allow these things to get a hold of you. I can't change the past. I know there's a lot of things that I hurt from the past when it deals with me and my dad, but I could, there's a lot of things I can also be grateful and blessed for as well. So I hope you're able to resonate with that. You know, I know we all have bad days, but we also have good ones. And be blessed for be both of them because they're always bringing out a lesson and a blessing through each and every day. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing, you know, I'm always praying for your better days. You know, there's always somebody praying for your better days. And I would love to give a post notification shout out to um, Beat 'em Back, Sheila Lopez, and um, let me see, uh, Tracy Barton, Bart Barton, and Riku. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, be wild.